What's up, comic book fans? It's the Emerald Enthusiast, the man whose ring runs on fanboy energy. Here with a look at the Hasbro Titan Hero Series Blast Gear figure of Iron Man. I recently found this figure in an outlet store. I thought it would make for an interesting review, so let's get a look at the package details. On the top, it says Avengers and Blast Gear. On the bottom, we get some product information. On the side here, we get some nice artwork of Iron Man. On the opposite side, we get a diagram of the Blast Gear accessory. On the back, we get a full body product shot as well as two additional diagrams of how to use the Blast Gear accessory. The figure comes in open window packaging. Here is the figure itself, and here are the four parts that make up the Blast Gear accessory. And now I think it's time to bust this figure out of the package and see what's inside. And here we see Iron Man out of the package and ready to rumble. This figure is an upgrade over the standard Titan Hero series figures. However, there are some areas that could have used improvement. So let's take a closer look at the loose details of this figure now. Let's have a look at the lower body now. And this is the kind of sculpting that we have come to expect on Titan Hero series Iron Man figures. There's lots of detail here. And I would say a little bit more so than I've seen on some of the other Iron Man figures that I have had and reviewed here on this channel. There's even some detail up here near the hips, and I'm a huge fan of this metallic gold paint that is very fitting for this type of figure, and you can just see the light dancing off of it. So solid paint applications by Hasbro there. And in terms of lower body articulation, you can get him to kick that far forward. So that is certainly impressive. You could almost get him into a full split, but nonetheless, you can get him into a very deep side kicking pose. And unfortunately, you can't get him to step back. The hip area blocks that. But nonetheless, I think that is very adequate articulation for this figure. Here's a close-up of the torso, and as you can see, there is plenty of detail here, both in terms of sculpting and paint applications, like these little bolts here. I certainly appreciate the attention to detail when it comes to things like that. I do like the arc reactor, the way that looks. I would have preferred something a little bit brighter for the blue, but nonetheless, I think that looks good. If you've ever seen my videos on Titan Hero Series figures, you know how much I dislike these ports. However, if you put the blast gear accessory on this, it covers up the port. Let's have a look at the arms now, and there's plenty of good sculpting on these. I really appreciate the fact that the gold paint goes all the way around the biceps. There's no cutoff area where it seems like Hasbro's trying to keep costs down. That's true on both of the arms. You can see that the repulsor has been sculpted into the palm there. And the sculpting gives you the impression of various segmented pieces of metal that have been fused together to make this suit of armor. And in terms of articulation, there's movement at both wrists. There are no elbow joints. And you can only raise the shoulder joint up that far, and then it stops. And you can only get moderate movement if you try to do the big power pose. Again, those shoulder joints block the arms from going any further back. However, with both arms, you do get 360 degrees of rotation at the shoulders. Here's a close-up of the head sculpt, and there are things I like about this and things that I don't like. Once again, this gold metallic paint looks superb. There's plenty of attention to detail when it comes to the sculpting here. You can see that on the sides. These all look like various plates and gears that have been fused together. I think my head sculpt here has a little bit of extra paint, but that's a minor criticism. Here's a close-up of the back of the head. I really like the way the neck looks. Hasbro went the extra mile in terms of sculpting there. You can get the head to move up and down a little bit, and there's not really any tilting. It's mainly side-to-side -side movement with this head sculpt. Now let's have a look at the accessories here. 
And we get this rocket launcher that does have a real projectile with it. And it just ports into the blast backpack. And there's this gun. Kind of looks like a modified Gatling gun. And that also ports into the backpack. Then there is this blue missile. And this is an actual projectile. And you port this into the missile launcher here. And I will be showing you how to fire this later on in this video. And here is the backpack. And I do really like the paint applications on this. And of course, that just ports into the back. So here are all of these accessories. And now let's get a look at the way they fit on the figure. Here is the backpack part slid into the port. And as you can see, that looks really cool. And I really appreciate the fact that Hasbro went the extra mile and gave us the gold paint on this accessory as well. So here is that Gatling gun that I talked about. And it just ports right into the backpack there. And this one doesn't fire anything, but it does look intimidating. And the box shows how you can take the rocket launcher and also put it into his hand like a gun but it doesn't fit snugly into the hand. So you can get it in there. I just don't think that at that angle, it looks very appealing. And now I'm going to snap this into the other port. You can actually move this projectile launcher up and down. So that's not something that I expected, but I think that's another cool aspect of this figure. This blue rocket ports into the end of the projectile launcher and you press that in till it snaps and then there's this little section on the side. And as you can hear, that came out with some force. So kids, whatever you do, do not aim this at your face. I certainly hope you have enjoyed this review. If so, please like and subscribe. Stay tuned for some articulation shots, and also remember to catch me on the Multiverse Musings vidcast, available right here on YouTube. And please, make sure to tell all of your friends about this channel. And I'll be back to the internet with more comic book related content soon. But until we meet again, this has been the Emerald Enthusiast, and thanks for watching.